So now we're going to talk about how to execute an ER clap. So I know it sounds silly, but it has its technique. So it's basically, you have to cup your hand, but be careful of not to touch with your fingers. So that's why you need a partner. In the beginning, you need to make sure that when you push, in this case, we're gonna use the shoulder, you cup your hand, but you don't touch with your fingers. Otherwise you can hurt yourself, okay? So just doing that, okay? Again, just doing that. So she practiced. Now she practices again, she does it again, nice, again. So it's not only hitting, it's pushing a little bit, boom, okay, do it, nice, nice, do it again, nice. So now, in this case, you can use it two ways, one as a target, okay, imagine that it's going to go to her ear, and now I'm going to practice with her shoulder, like this, okay, like this, very quick. Boom, that is a real target. I just want to use that in escape. So I would do that to her ear. That's one option. And the second option is as part of a technique. I want to move her to one side to punch with the other. So I clap and I punch. I hit her, she will move to this side and I will punch. It doesn't matter if she covers herself. Even if she covers, boom, I move her to the side, boom, and I will punch her, okay? So that's how you normally do the ER clap at a self-defense scenario.